Uh, hey all, this is Gamma Skarpnichanko and I want you to explain my code today for the my maze game. So uh, yeah, uh, here and first in the beginning I started off with uh, declaring few libraries I will use later in my code. Uh, then I uh, made my Labyrinth, maze, whatever you call it, uh, for the walls of the of the um, maze, I chose the sign number two y nine, which is basically a filled square. Uh, well, you will see how it looks later. Um, I set the sizes of my uh, well. My maze is array, so I uh, set the sizes of uh, maximum columns and and rows here. So it so my maze is twenty by twenty, basically. Well, that's all here. Uh, then I made a function to print uh, print the maze library uh, labyrinth. I mean. Um, here I uh, clean the screen. So basically, since my game starts off with the main menu, uh, I will have to clean it and then uh, print the menu, and it goes all and all and all with my moves. Um, uh, to print the <coughs> to print a maze, I used a for loop, two for loops, for loop and for loop. I know how it's called, but uh, two uh, loops, and for each uh, row, I print uh, all columns. Uh, and basically, this is how it works. Uh, so for each for each of these, I print uh, the sign, which is in this coordinate place. So like I start with zero zero, so I print this sign and. Then it's zero one, then it's zero two, and goes like that. Uh, so okay, this was my printing labyrinth, and then I made some structs uh, for the moving objects. Uh, so um, one of the moving mo objects is player himself, and uh, then. Uh, to enemies which kind of move around the map um, then I start off my main function and the game starts with the main menu so user will get a decision whether to uh, start the game or look for some help uh, then if he chooses not start the game basically any other button he presses um, he will get the uh, help message and as soon as he presses S the game start so here I declare my start positions for all the moving objects so it's uh, player to enemies um, then I basically start the game here I declare that uh, before I want to play until player reaches the dollar sign, which is finish, and uh, I set the signs uh, to the uh, moving objects, to the um, arrays uh, cells corresponding to these starting points. And then I print the maze. Um, so from here on, the game starts, and I start off with the reading what key I entered. So using uh, get, uh, I don't have to ask user to press enter every time he entered the um, letter. Or some button, he will press it and it will work instantly. 
uh, then I assign this get value to the key which is character and uh, then I use my switch case to check what, what the uh, user pressed so I use the VASD commands uh, for this for, for controlling the the player uh, and then basically for all the buttons I use the logic of uh, uh, first of all I check whether uh, after completing this move I will not hit the wall and if I will not uh, then uh, I move player uh, player position by y axis by one and in the place player mm, player was I put the dot which represents the uh, footprint um, then I do the same for all the other buttons so V A S D uh, with the only one difference that I change different uh, coordinates to the different side um, yeah uh, then uh, after for example if the user press D uh, he will go again here uh, write uh, uh, this sign to the position to the new position uh, and it will go on and on and on until whether user will lose the game or he will win the game um, so yeah then we have the static enemy which is um, the fuck uh, okay uh, I have some problems with my computer uh, so uh, yeah so the first enemy is my hash sign and it's gonna be placed here and in, in order to pass it uh, what is it Yeah. Uh, in order to pass it, user will have to answer three questions. Correct. Uh, and here I make a loops of uh, well to make user ans answer until he answers correct. Uh, and it goes with all three answers and um, until as soon as. Uh, user will answer all three questions correct uh, the hash sign will disappear the gate will open and user will be able to proceed proceed uh, yep then I have my moving enemies two moving enemies um, the idea for the first one well basically they are the same uh, but uh, first one moves the same way as player moves so if I move right uh, the enemy will move right uh, if I move left the enemy will move left uh, and with the second one it is if I'm it is uh, different so if I move right it goes left if I go up it goes down uh, but again we both uh, looking for uh, not hitting the wall because they're not idiots uh, so if they gonna hit the wall and I'm not I will move and they will stay in one place uh, yeah but uh, here I replace uh, the place where they were with uh, space so if uh, enemy will cross the path of uh, player uh, uh, enemy will clean the footprint of uh, player by changing the dot to space uh, so yeah mm -hmm. if player so yeah let's stay with one enemy so if 
uh, player position will be equal to the enemy sign uh, I mean not position but uh, well here it writes position uh, but the point is that if uh, the player position and enemy position will be the same uh, then uh, I will get the message that I lost the game and the program will close uh, same goes with the second enemy and uh, yeah if if the match position match positions match then I quit the program uh, and if none of these happened then I will play until I will uh, sorry for scrolling so fast uh, I will play until I hit the dollar sign um, yeah and then I will do I will get the message you won congrats so okay now let's check how this program works uh, so I build and run so first I get my main menu where I am asked to choose whether I want to start the game or uh, look for some help so let's look for some help because we are playing first time and we get here a message that uh, our goal is to uh, go to the finish uh, and uh, we will meet different obstacles so uh, the hash sign is the gate which will open only by completing completing guards task uh, the X are hunters and if we hit them game is over and dollar sign is finish yeah, representing money we like money and um, we get the information that uh, while we move we will leave footprints and hunters will clean our footprints as I said before and we're asked to ask to press S to start the game well, let's do that so okay here is our game uh, these are our walls these are our enemies uh, this is the player this is our uh, finish and this is the gate so let's start the game as you can see I'm leaving the footprints uh, well, let's go straight to the enemies and look how we deal with them okay first one enemy is fast another one is still on the road okay so the enemy I'm blocked between two enemies so let's first deal with this one so this one move the same way I move so if I move down it moves down uh, yeah so I'll just get him to some random place uh, yeah uh, now I have to deal with the oh god even I just well let's just let's just skip the dealing and I will just make some cheat here uh, I will let us go straight to the uh, To the third, yeah. So here I meet the gates, and here I am asked to answer the question. So what is two plus two multiplied by two? It is six. So how much will be if I add four? Six plus four is uh, well. Let's try to answer wrong. It's five. No. It's ten. Yes. Then I divide ten by ten. It's one and then the gate disappears and I go straight to my finish and I won yes that's basically all thanks for watching goodbye